Hi guys, welcome back to Media Plays, and today, um, you can see me in the screen, hi. <laughs> Sorry, not much I can do about that, but yes, I'm filming on the, um, I'm filming the game on my brand new camera, and as you can tell, we're playing on the table game, back, right back into it, and I have not played it since then, and so, no much else in the video, let's just get right to it, uh, apologies for lighting conditions, working with what I got. But, real quick, I'm gonna go quickly go to, uh, the settings. Uh, border. Simple. Set up here. And that. Uh, I'm gonna go with dynamic. Yeah, that's good. Here we are. Right where we left off. We're right in Snowden Forest. Uh, go up here. I know there's something up here. It's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the, to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Good choice there, Frisk. I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna walk over because I know this is like. There we go. Snow Drake, here we go. So the idea is to make a joke. Heh, <laughs> heh, nice drag. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. <laughs> uh. It's acid. It's acid. It's acid. It's acid. <laughs> nice try. I have to wait for him to uh, make it, make a joke. Oh, oh, I get. First I laugh. First you laugh at Snow Drake before he says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Spare. Better not snow flake out. There we go. Okay, I had to spare him, then laugh at him. Okay. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See, laughs. That was wrong. Hmm, bit of fatherly issues, eh, Snow Drake? <laughs> there we go. 12, uh, 12 gold, awesome! <clears throat> Apologies for my bad papyrus voice. So, as I was saying about Tundine... Huh? 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 Uh, okay, I'll just do this play, because it's pretty funny. <laughs> they start spinning around. <laughs> Sans, oh my god! Is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I can't we can keep on yelling for fires for long. <clears throat> Sans, I finally did it! And I will, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what happens next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. <laughs> oh, that's why I love these guys. I love these guys. Okay. Hey, is your refrigerator running? I don't know this joke. Nice. I'll be able to deposit the brewskis. I'm not sure I can forget it. Cause nobody's supposed to like, it's your refrigerator running, yes, they better go catch it. Okay. Uh, that's all nourished with cardboard box. Okay, it's papyrus. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> Here we go. Ice cap, okay. Door. Yes, I'm intentionally ignoring it. Oh! Okay, what's it supposed to ignore that? Then ignore again. Uh, you can see not looking at Ice Cap's app. Seems defeated. Fine. I don't care. And then, you steal it! Try to steal Ice Cap's hat. I succeeded in passing your hat! What's the... Oh no! Oh god, don't tell me I killed Ice Cap! Please don't! Uh, 
Uh, no, that's not, uh, any XP? Oh my god, no XP. EXP. Whew! <laughs> oh. I was afraid I killed it! Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can really see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo! Oh yeah, that's right! He can't see, he can't actually see you, so... Doggo's too suspicious of your movements. DON'T MOVE AN INCH! Okay? Yeah, because blue attacks don't hurt you. Uh... Doggo can't see to find anything. You pet Doggo. WHAT?! I'M IN PAT! 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 POT! PET! PAT! PET! PAT! POT! <laughs> okay, that's cute. That's, that's just... Kinda cute. Something pet me! Something isn't moving! I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Okay. <laughs> Guess they're equivalent to weed. Hey. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Not right now, Chatting, I'm busy. You can tell me it later. No, you can tell me it later. I'm playing something right now, Bubba. Simple. Right? But if I think about blue stop signs. A yellow yellow text. <laughs> okay. And yeah, no, so sorry about that. It's just my brother has a tendency to barge into my room. Uh, north, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, snowy town. And ice. <laughs> I'm a snowman! Hello? I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece from me and bring it very far away. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Okay. I need to. I need to reach a save point. You're so lazy. You are napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrived. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For well, you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a healthy zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Okay. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. And then he just walks back across it. <laughs> That's why I love this game as a good sense of humor. Hold this, please. Uh, poop. Okay, try now. Okay. I don't want to do the wall. Ouch. <laughs> Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy! It is designed by my brother, Sans! You will surely be confounded! I know I am! <laughs> what I... Where'd the ball go? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We met him a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yeah, he is cool. Oh, nice cream man. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. That was just 15G. And yes, I'm giving him like a surfer dude voice. But some reason he just screams surfer dude to me. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Got an ice cream. Thank you. It's a nice guy. Oh yeah, this, this is like a, a weird challenge. You basically try to hit the snowball all the way down here into this hole. I'm not going to bother with that because...
for kind of finding annoying. Like each time I do it, it's just a drag to do. So <laughs> there's sense. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Once in fried snow, it's just 5G. Wait, fried snow? That's just wa that's just hot water, isn't it? Did I say five? I meant fifty. Yeah, sure. Really? How about five thousand? Fifty thousand. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> okay. Snow danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy all car. That's red. Oh, he's like. He's like. Uh. It's like, oh yeah, he's like because like most dogs are color. Dogs are color blind, aren't they? Okay. What's this? Looks like a small snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> oh yeah, snow decahedron. That's like um a shape with ten sides, isn't it? Yeah, deca. I said ten. Yeah. Human. I hope you're ready for. Sans. Where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kid's words such. Is it a character, like an actual character, Monster Kid? An iced E, like an actual rice cube. Hey kids, can you help me solve the puzzle? The thing is, you can actually find all the words like Gilles Fleffebreber. Yeah, it's actually right at the top. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, all the words are there, whatever. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crosswords? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? The easy peasy word scramble? That's my baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumbo or Crossword? Uh, Jumbo is Papyrus, Crossword is Sans. I'm going to have to go with Jumbo because, you know, Papyrus needs to come for this boost. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumbo just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> ah, sweet checkpoint. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Sweet. It's a note for Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Fully changed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. God, us. Florian is a nice dude, come on. It's a play of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. I can't tell whether it's because it's been on snowy so long or because Papyrus is that bad a cook. <laughs> it's an unplugged microwave. All the settings that say spaghetti. Because of course they do. And it goes to the mouse. I have to do that, I love that mouse. I don't know why. Warning, dog marriage. Okay. Ah, right. Uh, move. Lesser dog! Alright, oh yeah, lesser dog, all you have to do is just pen. Barely lifting your hand, a lesser dog gets excited. <laughs> ah! Well, he is the annoying dog, so. Yeah, just keep petting. The whole idea is that you just keep on petting and petting and petting, and, um, like, later there's supposed to be. Uh, oh! Jesus. There's supposed to be, like, a bunch of sculptures, and then there's, like, a bunch of long dogs with long necks. Raise the set up to meet your hand. Oh. 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 I'm having fun, don't judge me. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. <laughs> Sorry, it's also bounce. Sorry, it always is. Dude, you're becoming predictable. Don't do that. Come on. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. Excited noises, yes. Now he just doesn't attack you. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motorway. <laughs> this is more than I don't care. You don't get petting. Guess what? Excited. Play takes off. <laughs> There's no way to stop this madness. 
kettle whistles. I'm oh, sorry, I can't do the kettle whistle because it's like one of the one the noises that affects my ears. Uh, lots of dog answers to have in the clouds. Okay? <laughs> you called a dog, but it was too late. You cannot hear you! Follow her. Oh, there he comes! You can reach lots of dog again. Arr. Go look how fast that tail is going! I can't tell if you can see, see because of the. Because of the. Like, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. Pet lots of dog. I don't care, I'm gonna keep petting it, it's cute! The thing is, I don't even like dogs! It's possible you may have a problem. Okay, that's far enough. Good dog. Here's a good doggy. Again, I don't even like to. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, X marks the spot. How long since I played this game, can you tell? Yeah. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click! Hey. See, I, th I, th I think I accidentally used to, like, spoil this, this character's name earlier. Uh, what I got? I got the spider donut, the bandage, the toy knife, the bee scotch pie, snowman piece, and ice cream. I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna hold on to the donut, the pie, and the snowman piece, because I need, I need to hold on to those, like, at the very end. Um, you use the bee scotch pie for the final battle, and you can use the spider donut in the fight against, uh, Muffet, I think it is. Get it? Muffet? Lulus Muffet sat on the Tuffet? Even though... The mummy wants to go, not the spider. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alright. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Ooh, dog base. <laughs> hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Doggy assault. Aww. Doggy. Okay, I need to roll around and pet them both. Roll out in the dirt and snow. So, oh yeah, I need to roll out. Let the snow take my wife. Please. Don't actually. Oh, just touch that. And then, uh, roll around. Re-sniff. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? I could just stay still, really. You pet dog of me. Wow, pet by another pup. Oh, don't leave me out. Just dodge that pet. You pet dog arasa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. Ah, crud. Would it be a spare? Oh, look at those anime eyes. 40 gold. Sweet. Dogs stuck a pet over dogs? A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy. I'm gonna try to get through without getting killed. Yeah, I don't as well, just basically change it to circles. Hey, Papyrus. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? Um. Do I say eight or left? Because. Like, if you eat it, he'll offer to make you more, but if you left it, but if you left it, he'll like offer to eat he'll still offer to make you um I'm gonna go with left it. Really? Wow we you resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fritz not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Hehehehe <laughs> <Nya. laughs> Hey Paps. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> oh, such a, such a happy guy. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the situ solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. 
I suppose what I am saying is, why not human? I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, this is one of the harder ones. Um, just trying to think. I can't really see Papyrus's face in that shape. Can you? Is it just me? Am I the only one who can't see Papyrus's face? Okay, um, I think I got it. Uh, go up with that. Then down. Then around. Then here. Then here. Got it. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! <laughs> oh, Papyrus, you ham. Turn every exit to a circle, then press the switch. No duh. Again, I don't know if it's me, but I cannot see Papyrus' face in that! Hmm. Huh. Good job of solving it so quickly. He didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. He's right, you are a lazy bones! Oh, here we go. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. Alphys? I, I don't know what to Is it Alphys or Alphys? Someone in the comments let me know. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Got it? Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Okay? Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. I just realized something. How do you guys have piranhas? It's like, are they piranha monsters or are they just regular piranhas? <laughs> Purple tiles are slippery. You'll slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Okay, so just to recap, red can't walk on them, um, yellow are electric, green is a sound, is an alarm for to summon a monster, um, orange tiles smell like oranges, uh, blue tiles are water, you can't swim if you've been, you can't swim if you smell like oranges, uh, purple tiles are slippery and smell like lemons, and so purple and blue are okay because piranhas don't like lemons, and pink tiles are are okay. You can step on them all you want. Yep, got it. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it would make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I would know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! He's walking to he walked towards it. Now he's in the middle of walking like that. I'm tripping out! Oh! <laughs> Why do I find that so funny? Oh god! The machine isn't working. Okay. That's Metaton! Isn't it? That's supposed to be Metaton! Yeah! Actually, that spaghetti from earlier? It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been proven a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year, he'll make something edible. Dude, that's savage. Yep, there's the, uh, there's stuff about the lesser dog, although that kind of looks like a... It's a broken head of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. They're all gonna be broken heads. Oh, that kind of... Look, look at the tongues! Well, where a dog? Please pet dog. Okay? So it's like... We, we're not lesser dog, we'll be all the way back where they Dog me and Dog Arrested would be, and yet, um, and yet his station is here. Weird. Alright, knowing the dog would never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Alright, 
So we play the game for the hour tour now. Uh, oh, you're a cow. A dog just rushed through there, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that impressed its own emotion, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. That, that was like a lightning bolt. Am I the only one who sees that? Seems like the base of a snow dog. That's that's totally a lightning bolt. Okay, uh, if I remember right. Across, up, across, down, across, across, down, across, up, across. Oh, son of a. Ah, uh, messed it up. It's a lump of snow with the word "sands" written in it with red marker. Hmm. It's a snow papyrus. Of course, it'd be super muscular with a scarf. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I said this in the last video, but seriously go check out um, Battle of the Internet's Undertale the Musical. You won't regret it. Ah, oh, son of a... No, I already locked the bridge, so... Just go straight across. I'm just sliding across. I'm not even moving. See? But that's just a lump of snow. <laughs> and down here, sands. So... And Sans! Say, are you following me? Get trot. Okay. Yeah, you, you just undecorate. You move a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Lots a little better. Whoa! How did I dodge that? Undecorate. You move the box of non chocolate raisins. Lots a little better. Ah! You move the to strike the cane that says I can use the tiny cane to, 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 to walk. Oh, Alright, sorry. A weight has been lifted. What was that mouth? Oh, yeah, that's right, through here. Um, at the very end here. There's like, it doesn't matter, there's like, there's no specific combination to this, but. Basically, behind that door, it's like, at the end credits, you have to try to avoid all the, uh, the credits because they start shooting at you. You make, if you avoid, if you're able to avoid them and then load the game back up, uh, basically, that door will be open and in it is supposed to be the lesser dog, which is supposed to be Toby Fox, as he writes the game. You know, that's actually a cute little easter egg. I like that. Yeah, say, so, are you following me? Yeah. No, technically I am. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be the one keeping your eye out for me. I suck it. Whatever. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. It's really a snow puff. Behold! A snow puff. Eh? There's Freddy G inside this. What is this? Snow puff. Okay, did I get that Freddy G? I can't tell. But oh, whatever, I got 218G anyway. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Alright. And then this snow puff is supposed to be great to talk about, right? Okay. Hey, you little puppy. Hey, 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 you little puppy. Hey, how are you doing, little puppy? And oh my god, you're not a little puppy! It's the greatest dog. Look at his tail! I don't even see how it's just a tail walking back and forth. That's cute. Uh, pet? Where is always too far away to... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I need to... Beckon? Call it your great dog. It bounces towards you. Flacking slobber in your face. Ew. Pet? Get off because your lab is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up! It's so excited! I gotta love this song though. Grand Dog is patting the ground with his front paws. Uh, play! You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Red the Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it back to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests his head on you. 
Isn't it supposed to be like an attack? Uh, pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your boom is slow. But, you still haven't pet enough. Ah, stupid! That's why it's called the annoying dog. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. That bloody annoying dog! Great dogs contended. It's 0, 0 XP of 40 gold. Alright. Da, little puppy. He licked me. Yeah, no one to... <laughs> he goes and asks for that. Like, head first and ass out. Alright, here we go. Hi, Papyrus. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! Hey, there's an annoying dog! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory shall remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Come on then. That, uh... Doesn't look very activated. Well! This challenge... It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah! We can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all! Away it goes! Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Ha! Ha? Alright, I'm back here is supposed to be Flowey, isn't it? Watch the snow. Yeah, that was Flowey! It's like Flowey was right there at the, at the snowbank. Or snow puff, whatever. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I you, I'll make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, got it. Don't move in the blue. Oh, he just not. Oh, he just now realized the snow is a snowman face in the O. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I can just walk right through flowers now. I'm a ghost. I'm intangible. Hi. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Use the box? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, in there I'm going to put the toy knife, uh, the donut, the pie, and the snowman piece. That's all I'm leaving in there. On the bandage. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, I'll take a bunch of cinnamon buns. And a bicycle. <laughs> uh, armor 7 defense. It has abs on it. <laughs> Thank you for your purpose. Oh my god, I'm down to 68! Can to chat? Say hello. Oh yeah, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here, Snowden? Groove eats his food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. <laughs> okay, town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters had li lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, I don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost who can, or can bury underground, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down the freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? That's fair. 
Bye now. Come again sometime. Yeah, if I remember right, in the inn. Hey. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed is Premier Hotel. One night is for an aging. Yeah, watch. I know I don't have any. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Oh! Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be like singing the snow, like the Snowden music, isn't it? Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Feel free to come back if you get tired. Mom says to sleep, you can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Can you do something with the sofa? No? Okay. And quickly save. So I such a friendly town future with determination, yes. Alright. I'll to interact with the town a bit. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bum 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 <laughs> Awful teens and told me the local monster by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, so you have Christmas. Cool. Monster Kid. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh yeah, that's why he is wearing a stripe. They always... Is Monster Kid supposed to be a boy or a girl? This dog is even have a bear. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish about it. That's politics! <laughs> oh god, that's all relevant to right now, especially with current, our uh, current political climate. And he says the music! Cool. And Groovies, yeah. Groovies actually a living torch. That's actually kind of cool. I'll come back later. Mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. And dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join him, but I'm not just not very funny. I don't know, you're a mouse, you can be very funny. <clears throat> we all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? That's actually a good point. Alright, little rocks. Let's play monsters as humans. You aren't gonna make me be a human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world should sure feel boundless. I'm gonna give him the accent because he has like a mustache and that's a uh, yeah. yeah, there's a ball over here for just for ice. It'll make it make sense much later. It'll make like it'll make much more sense um, later on. The library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the side is misspelled. Alright, it's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, when we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing, then the essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I the page minimum yet? I can't, I'm kind of sick of writing this. Oh god, that is so relevant for later. While monsters are mostly made of magic, humans are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they would never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They would never get a bullet pattern birthday card. True. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they're made of magic, monster bodies are true to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill, let's just say, let's just end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh coals, damp swamp land, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital. New home! Again, our king is really bad at names? Love, hope, compassion, 
This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls so they don't need these things to exist. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report, we just feel it with comics and games. <clears throat> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when I ran out of assignments. They, they, I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Is she smoking? Or he? Whatever that is. That look in your eye. You're so in this difficulty still with Junior Jumbo, aren't you? I'm just gonna quickly save because I know that. Oh, never mind. Because, like, somewhere along this way, there's supposed to be like another igloo. Because you, you noticed earlier there was an igloo. Let me show you. There, that's the igloo. It's actually a tunnel. Do not walk into the other. Don't want to walk to the other side of town. Try the other snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Yeah, so just quickly save. So it's such a friendly town. Future with determination. Yep. From here. See? And this is Santa Papyrus House. It's locked. I think this is supposed to be like Santa. Yeah, this is Santa Papyrus' house. Um, it's a mailbox overflow with all red junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus! Look inside? Yeah, sure. It's empty. Oh, Papyrus. Because he's like, he really wants friends, don't he? It's locked from the inside. How the fuck did he get in there? I can phase through a flower. Okay, hello, that's the ice cube. Okay, I guess this is supposed to be like a mist, though it kinda looks like a like kinda looks like a tablecloth like like a tablecloth, you see it in your hands. There he is, there's Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle sobby skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard! There you go, the fight. Papyrus blocks away. Flirt. What? F flirting? So, you finally revealed your ultimate feeling. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! <laughs> I guess that means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you. The pirates is you about what's worth his date. So, you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my thing with blue attack! Yeah, just stay still. Oh, You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> oh, I love this song. It's Bone Trussle, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. Wait, the power is dabs some bone color behind his ears. So no worries, he doesn't do this. Yo, if you could see that, and come on, I hate dabbing. <laughs> what? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh Christ! The pirate's dad's marinara sauce, my <laughs> marinara sauce. Come on, man! You don't even, God, you don't even have ears. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Wait, 
Papyrus Dance entity brand Bishy Queen behind his Bishy! I can almost taste my future popularity! Right, here he dubs entity brand anime powder behind his ears. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Oh no! Oh. Entity brand cube juice behind his ears. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! <laughs> entity brand attraction slime. Okay. Undyne would be really proud of me! Ah, come on! I knew that you'd make friends with one. Anti brand beauty yogurt! Or yogurt, if you're using the American way of saying it. The king will trim the hedge in the shape of my smile! Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> my brother will. Well, he won't change very much. Papyrus whispers, <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but. Papyrus is considering his options. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Oh god, they're on the moving. The pirate whispers, <laughs> Someone like you is really rare. Ah, oh, come on. Who? Papyrus is rattling his bones. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh! Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. After they are captured and sent away. Ugh. Oh! Papyrus is considering his options. Ah, who cares? Give up! Oh, I am, oh my god, I thought I dodged that. I'm sorry, I'm not going to rhyme. I don't know why I did that. Fight on his bones. Give up or face my special attack. Pirates is rattling his bones. Uh, pull on the bandana. You equip the manly bandana. Yeah, very soon you, I'll use my special attack! Uh, well, defense is bad. Oh, come on. No, no, I'm gonna quickly eat a cinnamon bun. Uh, Papyrus is bearing, uh, preparing a bone attack. Yeah, cinnamon bun. Eat the cinnamon bun. Your hatred is nice out. Not too long, and I'll use that special attack! Try hard to play it cool. This is your last chance before my special attack! Oh. Pirates trying hard to play it cool. Uh. Behold! My special attack! The dog! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that moon! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Let's get ready for a regular attack. Sigh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh! You call that normal? Ah! Might actually finally beat Papyrus on my first try because I normally suck at a Papyrus fight. This one you just keep pressing up. There we go. I'm doing 
gonna take I'm gonna go right to the edge. Right to the edge, right to the edge. And push! Well it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah! I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. And spare! Yes! No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Hyundai's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my brain quantity will remain stagnant. Oh, poor papyrus. What did you say? Let's be friends. Wanna look? No, don't call him a loser. Come on. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Come on, man. It was all just naive as you must know what the friend zone is. Oh, uh, who knew who I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and invite them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain that if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> okay, it's my official canon idea that Papyrus can fly, and just real quick, I'm um, going to go all the way back, save, and then have that date with him. God, who doesn't want to have a date with Papyrus? Oh, okay, he turned around to look at me. You can tell him, you can actually see his back facing, you can face front facing the house. <laughs> like, he was actually, like, actually following you with his eyes, okay. Oh, I love this bit, I love this game. Okay, quick, I'll quickly do the date with Papyrus, and then uh, that'll be it for today. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Then we follow him back. My house! <laughs> This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Welcome to Scenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. Right. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Oh, I get it. I quarter fit it. He's still finding the walls of it. Ooh, he's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. I'm out of bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Awesome. It's a dirty sock with a series of knots on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it by two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried making something. 
It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. So in other words, a pie. He made up pie. Aha! Interested in my food museum? <laughs> okay, call my mini fridge a food museum from now on. Hashtag don't hate. Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half could taste nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Guess that bag of chips is sounds. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Curse that middling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop playing in my life with incidental music! Alright, we're good now. We're good. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door's locked. Here's how you can't really get Sans' key right now. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yeah, let's go inside. Come on, Paps. Uh, let's take a look around. That's my bed! If I ever get to, to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count! Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona! Always sending me bad puns and a goofy font! Sans. There are no skeletons in my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the clo closet? Yeah, sure. Clothes are hung up immediately inside. Okay. That was one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. This box was another one of my favorites. Peek-a-boo with flappy money. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's brought from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons! <laughs> well, you're not wrong, mate. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! You have Santa Claus, that's cool. Alright, let's do this. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Hell yeah. Okay, dating start! Dating start! Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating room for a long way. Oh, he just had to and just goes, whoosh. <laughs> We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's W button for dating hunt. Oh, God, you even got, like, the weather day as well. Wow, we! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Why is there an egg in the corner? I just noticed that. The white population you think. Step two. Ask them on a date. <coughs> Human! Hi, the great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Really? Wow, we! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! 
Nyeh! Nyeh! Don't think you've bested me yet! Oh, this detention bar. Hi, the great papyrus! I've never been basing at dating, and never will be! I said beating incorrectly, but no matter, I am the great papyrus! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> yeah! What do you think of my secret style? Love it. No! A genuine club compliment! Club... <laughs> whatever. However, you don't truly understand hidden power in this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date will not escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Okay, let's just go around it. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Hold in my hands or I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. I see, I see. You like caressing, yet, yet. This shirt doesn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expect it. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But also wrong. This ain't any old. This ain't any old plain pasta. Uh, this ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human. It's time to end this. There's no way to go any further. Eat. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh. No! <laughs> Human. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Is it everyone though? Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. Hi, Papyrus. I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Rom romantically, I mean. I mean, I try very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. And I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have, fa have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison with, with passion, with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I will help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> it's not still floating. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, got to go! Yeah. 
Oh, Papyrus. You enjoyable ham. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly go back to the save point. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. And that's where we'll leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, okay, we started on 44 minutes, now we're up to 108. Wow. <laughs> just, just a little over an hour. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And, you know, I will be trying to play more of this, but... Um, well, my other responsibilities are going to be taking up my time, so no guarantee that I'll be playing this every week, nor what day this will be coming out. I, I, I don't really have a schedule. But, you know, again, hope you enjoyed it, and hope you come back for more. So, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please click that like button, please leave a comment, and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel, and please consider following me on Twitter. That's at media underscore man 18 at twitter.com. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm Callum Lewis, The Media Hood, signing off.